What's up guys, it's Aiden from Aiden GU Tech and today we're going to be talking about some awesome features in iOS 17 that Apple didn't talk about during the event. I'm currently running iOS 17 on my iPhone XR and it's running pretty well. I'm excited for the public beta that's coming out in July. I'm going to be testing it on my 14 Pro, but so far it's working pretty well. The developer beta is working really well on my iPhone XR, and I found a lot of cool, awesome features that Apple didn't say anything about during the event. So today we're gonna to be talking about that. Timestamps are below if you guys wanna to skip to a certain feature, and yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about is interactive widgets. So if I swipe over here, you can see I have a few right here so i got reminders so you can just check off reminders like that which is really sweet and there's other ones such as music so you can play certain songs i'm not going to play because it it's copyrighted but yeah you can just play music right from your home screen and there's tons of other apps and developers will also be able to implement this so this is a really cool update to widgets this is something i didn't hear talked about a ton but if we go into settings here and scroll down to camera there's a really awesome update to the camera, which a lot of people are gonna like. First is level. So when you're leveling it, if we open the camera right here, you're gonna see, if I lift this up, you can see a level appears right here, which is really awesome if you wanna get a really perfect shot. And furthermore, there's also a new thing for video that allows you to lock your white balance. So the iPhone always in the past has automatically changed the white balance for you. But if you're changing scenes, you may see a change in the white balance that really doesn't look that great. So from here, we can just lock the white balance for the video and it won't change throughout the entire video, which is a really great feature that I've been looking forward to for a while. Here in the weather app, if we choose, for example, Toronto, you're able to actually go back in time for the weather by like a day or so, I believe. So if we go back in time, you can choose Tuesday and see back in time, and you can go all the way back to Monday. I haven't actually found a use case for it yet, but it seems pretty sweet, and I feel like I'll use it in the future for like comparing weather from past dates. So another great feature. Next, let's open the clock app. And now Apple's allowed us to make multiple timers. So if I start a 17 minute timer, and I start, um, let's say, let's start another one, let's start a 10 minute timer, you can see we can have multiple timers now and up until this point there's only one timer you could have at a time so this is a really sweet feature now in spotlight search you can toggle certain settings it's, it's a little bit bugged right now but if we want to turn off and on our wi-fi so if we scroll down you can actually see here i have a toggle to turn off and on my wi-fi right from spotlight search so that's a really awesome feature and i think i'll be using it a lot on my 14 pro to just toggle off and on the always on display there's a great new feature in Safari for private browsing. If we switch over to private, now you can lock your private browsing with Face ID. So if I create, if I just go to Google or something, you can see here we turn on require Face ID unlock for private browsing. So that's on right now. And if we close the app and try to go back in, if we open Safari now, you'll see private browsing is locked. So you click unlock, and use your face and now you're back in so this can be really useful for things like private banking so other people don't see your banking stuff and yeah it's another great feature a way of showing this right now but just like messages you'll be able to get two-factor authentication codes auto-filled when a company sends an email to you with it so that's a really awesome feature and you'll have the ability for it to automatically delete those two-factor authentication emails as they fill up your inbox and yeah the last feature we're going to be checking out is in find my so now with air tags you're going to have the ability to share that air tag privileges with someone else so you can see this share this air tag so if you had keys that you shared a car with multiple people you have the ability to add that person and allow them and you to access the air tag and find the keys if needed and yeah that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you're interested in this type of tech content make sure to subscribe there's obviously a ton of other things apple added to ios 17 that i didn't talk about in this video so if you're interested in that make sure to like the video and check out my last video where i talked about the iphone 14 pro and some awesome apps that work with the dynamic island and the live activity this is obviously a new channel so i'll be making a lot more videos in the future and check out my main channel if you haven't already and it's a gaming channel that i post a lot of minecraft and other gaming content on once again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll hopefully see you in the next video